I'll explain my uh, solar trailer a little better here. Explain how I'm building it. Started off with a cheap Amazon, like $150, $200 trailer. About as cheap as you can get. And then I had a $50 solar mounting kit. It's kind of thick aluminum. It's pretty strong. And then I bought some cheap 2x2 two two thin uh, like awning steel. And, uh, I think I'm going to put a piece across like that on both sides as like a fender. Kind of help the dirt stay out. Won't do too much, but it will help a bit. And then uh, stuck across a piece across the top with rivets. Oh, focus, there we go. I gotta put a rivet. Another rivet or two on each end. And then I got uh, a board that's just uh, screwed across the top. And then the solar panels are riveted. And I got three 30 watt solar panels in parallel for 90 watts. They put out 18 volts with a closed circuit. Um, I get it almost 5 amps. And that's the trailer. But yeah, I think I'm going to build a couple fenders. And then I got this big water jug thing I might, uh, I might cut up and drape across the front as another mud guard. And then I have almost the same blue as what's on the bike here. So I'm gonna paint the trailer blue. And then uh, the bike's gonna have a 36 volt e-bike kit put on it. And I'm just gonna run the power to the trailer where my batteries sit. For the batteries, I got uh, built a battery box out of three of the little scooter batteries, like those ones. So it's a, it's a bit heavy, but because it's in a trailer, it's not that bad at all. Okay, so for the battery, I've got three of those scooter batteries in there, like I mentioned. It's hooked up to a MPT7210A and I'm almost charged so it's acting kind of amps are pretty low but the way I have it set up oh, let's see if I can stop it here the way I have it set up is I can plug in either a laptop charger or my solar panels either ports the same doesn't matter they're bridged and there's a uh, 272 volt diodes in there I believe they're 8 amp diodes on each side so that they can interfere so if I plug in two power adapters say they won't power into each other and then I can charge at a higher amps. And then the whole thing's set up on a power switch here. Got a wire coming out to my scooter. That's on a 40 amp or 60 amp breaker. I forget those white little breakers. The common ones that are in scooters. Or e-bikes. And then, uh, yeah, there's one on this wire for my scooter. So I can turn that off and on. I keep saying scooter, but I have an e-bike now. Like a mountain bike. There's another breaker switch between the battery and this box. And then between these ports and this box, I have this power switch and it's all set up so I can just plug my panel in or whatever, flick the switch and it all goes. 
So uh, that's going to be my e-bike. Stay tuned. I'll uh, do another update video when it's all finished and paint it and everything. So thanks for watching. See you around.